if you had to sit and look at your network literally manually, like packets going in and out, maybe just having Wireshark open at all times, 24 hours a day, that would get probably boring. Uh, you'd most likely be tired and maybe there's not enough uh, Celsius energy drinks in the world to kind of make that interesting. So what you need is more of an automated approach to see and understand what's happening in your network. And there are a lot of different ways to do this, I'm gonna be honest, but one of the, I would say, most original methods is an intrusion detection system, IDS, uh, or an intrusion prevention system, IDP. And the key difference is there are intrusion detection systems tell you what's going on, intrusion prevention systems prevent what's going on from happening, okay? Now, one of the oldest and most original IDS tools are SNORT, and SNORT was built in 98, 1998. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was open sourced by Cisco years ago, like around the time that it was created. So an intrusion detection system, what it's going to do is it's going to say, hmm, this traffic coming in doesn't quite seem right. And these are based on rules. So let's go ahead and learn a little bit about rules, a little bit about Snort and the installation process. All right. So here is the primary Snort website. Hasn't changed too much over the years, gotta be honest with you. Uh, but I think that's one of the coolest things about cybersecurity is, uh, you know, things kind of stay as they are because if it's not broken, don't fix it type of deal. So Snort 3 is out. The primary differences between Snort 3 and Snort 2, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, so some of the major differences, support for multiple packet processing threads, which frees up memory, use of shared configurations, access to more than 200 plugins, support for hyperscan, which leads to faster, fast patterns, content literals, and compatible PCRE during signature evaluation and various searches, rewritten TCP handling, the ability to scan in a simpler way. So we have this like kind of feature set here, and there's a lot here. So if you wanna go through this, here's the link, blog.snort.org 2020 slash 08 slash snort hyphen three, hyphen two, hyphen two differences HTML. But what I would say is, as we all know with software, new version, new features. So one thing that I wanna point out, which is really, really important are rules. Now, Snort rules are, you know, pretty much like a best practice list that you implement in your Snort environment, okay? So you know when you're using something like CIS benchmark style tool or a tool that has the national vulnerability database in the back end, pretty much what that tool is doing is it's going out to those databases and it's saying, okay, this says this is a vulnerability or this says this is a bad practice. Let's not do that. Same thing with Snort rules, okay? And you got several rules here available. Now I do like this explanation here. Their Snort rule language is very flexible, enabling you to create your own Snort rules to differentiate regular network activity from activity that simply is not the standard for your environment. And you could also say that network detection and response or NDR falls in here as well. And it, it does because NDR is typically implemented with IDS and vice versa. So I'd, I'd argue that a lot of NDR and IDS are the same things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do our installation process here. Now, first things first, you're gonna need an Ubuntu VM, okay? Now you can use something like Proxmox or VMware Player locally or VMware Fusion locally or Oracle VirtualBox or whatever you want to set up an Ubuntu VM, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to create an Ubuntu 22.04 box. And for this box, I'm not doing anything crazy here. 3000 megs RAM, CPU, just two virtual CPUs, 32 gigs, that's it. Don't need anything else here, especially just for a test dial box. My Ubuntu box is up and I have SSH'd in, as we can see here. Now, one thing that I wanna point out, if we just run app cache policy snort, you can actually see by default on at least Ubuntu 22.04, I'm not sure about 24.04, .04, snort two is installed. So yeah, we could actually check if we just did, oh, no, we would actually have to install it. So, well, as in the client, but snort itself is installed. 
But what we want to do is we want to get Snort 3 up and running, okay? So first things first, we're going to do an upgrade and an update here. All right, perfect. Then we're going to install these dependencies here. Actually, what I'm going to do is get these to the next line so everybody can see. All right, cool. So what I would do is just pause the video and uh, snag this. I'll also, I'll, I'll put the code base in GitHub, of course. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this. All right, next I'm gonna create the snort source directory and then CD into it. And then I'm gonna pull down the DAQ. So as you can see here, the DAQ replaces direct calls to libcap. So it essentially facilitates a ton of operations from a software and hardware perspective without snort having to change at all from a system perspective. So let's go ahead and bring this down here. And yes, just keep in mind the code base will be on a public Git repo uh, and I'll send that out for everybody or rather I'll, I'll put it in the description. All right, cool. So now we are uh, finally ready to bring down snort here. So or snort three rather. So we're going to pull it via wget. Actually, we'll get out of that directory. All right, cool. Let's bring that down. Going to do an unzip. All right, Oop, un oh, we got to install unzip if you don't already have it. All right, let's run the unzip command. Beautiful. All right, we're going to CD into snort master and then we'll run this command here for the installation and configuration. Ah, and we get this error here. It is looking for TC Moloch libraries. Now, I don't actually know if that's how it's pronounced, but TC Moloch is for concurrency. So essentially, if you don't have a lot of memory, you're using concurrency, it'll perform a little bit faster at the expense of memory consumption, okay? So let's go ahead and bring this down. I think this directory should be good. Now, one thing to point out here while this is actually installing, Concurrency is typically based on CPU threads. Uh, if you're using Go routines, like in the Go programming language, it's actually gonna be on one thread, multiple Go routines, concurrencies on one thread. But in this case, we wanna be able to pull this down for high concurrency environments that may not, you know, memory doesn't have anything to do with concurrency other than the, the machine actually running it, right? So if we want a higher performance machine or IDS at the expense of memory. This is what this tool is essentially doing for us. All right. So now we should be able to run our configuration here. We're just going to have to CD into snort three master. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay, cool. Now we are looking good. All right, we're gonna run sudo ld config. And now let's take a look at the version. Oop, I didn't install, okay. Let's, uh, huh, apt install snort. Let's, uh, let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, so it wants us to use a cider here. I'm actually just gonna use the same one because that is my local network. You know what's funny? Remember how uh, we got prompted for that command in the beginning? I wonder if, uh, we could have just ran that command instead of doing all this other stuff. Snort minus V. No, see, it still says uh, 2.9.15, okay. Ah, okay, we missed one step here. So we're gonna CD into build, so CD build. We're gonna run a make. Hopefully uh, installing via apt isn't gonna mess this up, but that's what we're doing here. We're, we're testing things out, we're playing with it, and we're gonna see what happens. Now, if you're wondering why this is taking so long, yes, it does take a little bit. You are uh, literally building an IDS system almost from scratch. Uh, well, you aren't, but you know, the make command is building. You know what I mean. All right, so don't worry, this is gonna take a little bit. Alrighty, so now let's run, just to test this out, we'll run snort, actually sudo snort, and we can see some traffic 
coming on down here. A couple of warnings, but you know, nothing crazy. However, if I just do a control C, we can now see snort exiting and we scroll up here. Now, of course, we didn't really get much, right? But, you know, we can see breakdown by protocol here. We can see some traffic coming in, what was received, what was analyzed, memory usage, etc. So that's how you can get started with some of the default rules, some of the default configurations and installing Snort.